Hello everyone. Welcome to the ITLS Academy. Let's start our third lecture. The topic for today is enzyme and food industry. Let's see what are enzymes. Enzymes are biocatalysts synthesized by living cell. They are the protein that speed up the rate of chemical reaction. They perform a specific significant reaction essential for production process with ensuring the quality of the end product. They are used in industrial production for various food products with required characteristics based on the purpose and need. All enzymes are protein, that is, they are the chain of individual amino acids. Enzymes have a great application in food processing due to their many advantages. They are the proteins with powerful catalytic function. Their role in food processing has also been recognized for many, many centuries. Even before this knowledge about enzymes, they have been used in number of processes such as tenderization of meat using papaya leaves, soya sauce preparation, curd or cheese making, baking, breeding industries, etc. They have many advantages. For example, enzymes have high productivity and catalytic efficiency. They are active in low concentration. They are highly specific. That is, they can able to discriminate between structurally similar molecules. Their action on food component other than their substrate are negligible thus resulting in the formation of pure products with more consistent properties. They are more environment friendly and produce less residual compared to traditional chemical catalysts. They work under mild condition of temperature, pressure and pH. It helps to pre preserve the integrity of heat level essential nutrients. Under, they work under the control enzymatic activity and reaction rate. Most of them are quite heat labile and therefore can be readily inactivated by mild heat treatment after they have been used to achieve the desired transformation in food. They are natural and relatively innocuous component of agricultural material that are considered safe for food and other non-food uses. Here comes the sources of food enzymes. For the industrial purposes, the enzymes can be traditionally derived from the three sources, that is plants, animals and microorganisms. Some of the enzymes which can be derived from the plant are as alpha amylase, beta amylase, bromelain, beta gluconase, physine, pepin, chymopepin, and lipogenase, lipoxygenase. From the animal source, the enzymes which can be derived are trypsins, pepsins, chymotrypsins, catalase, pancreatic amylase, pancreatic lipase, and renin. From the microorganism, they can be derived as alpha amylase, beta amylase, glucose isomerase, ululanase, cellulase, catalase, lactase, pectinases, pectin lyase, invertase, raffinose, microbial lipase, and proteases. It will be our benefit if we use enzymes from microbial origin in the following terms. Advantages of microorganisms as a source for enzyme production are they can be easily and fast grow, they can take a small space to cultivate and they, uh, their production is relatively cheap culture compound. Their use as enzyme source is not affected by seasonal changes and climatic conditions and are thus more consistent. For the production, there may be the possibility for tight control of culture condition in order to get a pure form so that the culture could remain free from the contamination. Their use as source of enzyme is not affected by various political and 
agricultural policies or decisions that regulate the slaughter of animals or felling of trees or plants. Baking industries. Baked goods are prepared from flours such as wheat flour, which has a starch as its main constituent. Bakery products are common food products through all the world and appearance, freshness, taste, flavor, color, etc. are the few quality criteria which the consumer expects from the bakery product. Enzymes have gained real importance in bread making where they improve the dough and bread quality leading to improved dough flexibility, stability, loaf volume and crumb structure. In this, enzymes are used in dough handling controlling of our crumb structure, taste, color, moisture, volume of the bakery products such as biscuit, crackers, wafers, cookies, bread dough, etc. Some of the commonly used enzymes in bakery industries are firstly the hemolytic enzymes. They mainly break down flour starch into small dextrin pieces that becomes better substrate for yeast to act upon in the bread making process. Next, the xylinase. It is also known as hem hemicellulase. It improves the bread volume, increases viscosity and dough stability, provide better crumb structure, texture and increase loaf volume. Proteases. It is used to reduce gluten elasticity in biscuits and water production. Next enzyme, enzyme is lipoxygenase. It is used to whitening the bread. Next is asparaginase. Break down the asparagine in flows to reduce its availability for reaction with reduced sugar to form acrylamide at high temperature. Broader application of enzymes in baking industry is replacement of chemicals that are conventionally used in bread making. For example, an enzyme like glucose oxidase is used in baked goods to strengthen dough texture and enhance elasticity in place of chemicals such as potassium. Talking about the dairy industry, milk is the chief dairy product and is processed and converted into yogurt, buttermilk, cheese, butter, cream, sour cream, etc. The principal component of milk are lactose, lipids, proteins and thus enzymes modifying these substrates are mainly used in dairy technology. The enzymes proteases, lactase, lipases are chiefly used in the dairy industry to develop the flavor compounds. Renin is used as a coagulant of milk to produce cheese. Some of the enzymes that are used in dairy industries are proteases to act on milk protein to modify texture and solubility properties of milk and other dairy products accelerate cheese ripening and improve flavor intensity. Talking about the renin, it is the stomach, stomach extract that contains the enzyme chymosin is in a stabilized form that is usable for cheese making. It is a coagulant which degrades kappa caseins to reproduce cheese curds. Lactose, lactose free dairy products. These are specialized products manufactured for lactose intolerant children or adult people. The breathing industries. Breathing industries employs the fermentation process to produce the wine, beer, say, soya sauce, etc. Food enzymes aid brewers in cutting down production time and cost while still delivering the quality products that consumers have come to expect. Such enzymes are specifically selected to perform highly specific tasks and improve the overall effectiveness of the process. The key benefits include the malt separation, 
better extraction yield, efficient fermentation, biofiltration and stabilization, utilization of local raw material. Many glycosidic enzymes such as cellulase, xylanase, amylase, amyloglucosidase, gluconase, acetolactase and also other enzymes such as decarboxylase, lipase, pentosanase, proteinases, etc. are used in this industry. In the wine industry, enzymes such as amylase, amyloglucosidase, cellulase, gluconases, hemicellulases, pectinases, proteases, glucose oxidase, etc. are used. They are used for liquefaction, clarification, and to supplement malt enzymes. Meat and seafood processing industry. Protease, that is a heat stable form preferred, that is, example, papain, fysin, bromelain, that is a mixture of enzymes found in pineapple. Protease enzymes, such as they, these enzymes, soften muscles, they are used in low amount to prevent liquefaction of muscles. These are mainly used to modify the texture and induce tenderness in meat and squid to improve chewability and digestibility and to reduce bitterness and improve flavor as well as nutritive value. They produce hydrosides, hydrolysates from meat scraps, underutilized fish species and fish processing discards. The next enzyme used in this industry is transglutaminase. These are used to improve texture in meat and seafood products. They are also used from restructured meats from trimming and surimi type products. Fruits and vegetables. Enzymes break down a specific component within the fruit and vegetable such as pectin, starch, proteins and cellulose which results in increased yields shortening of processing time and improving sensory characteristics. Actinase and cellulase are used to break down cell wall in the fruit and vegetables, resulting in improved extraction and increased yield. Actolytic enzymes, pectinase, it is collective name for the several enzymes that degrade pectin. Cellulitic enzymes are usually used in combination with pectolytic enzymes. These enable further viscosity reduction and facilitate solid liquid separation. They can also be used to decrease the viscosity of the purees or nectars and to provide cloud stability with texture in juice. They are generally used to clarify the juices. Pectinase and amylase increase juice production, juice volume, and color extraction. The starch industry. Bacterial thermophilic alpha amylase and endoamylase, which hydrolyzes the alpha 1 4 linkages in the starch. The breakdown products formed are mainly soluble dextrin and oligosaccharides. In a concentrated solution of starch, the hydrolysis results in a rapid viscosity reduction and the process is known as liquefaction. During starch processing, enzymes help to separate raw milk cereals into polysaccharides, gluten and fibers. The main benefit for this is the efficient and better starch conversion into valuable products, glucose, maltose, high fructose and other syrup. Enzymes used in this increase the capacity utilization during conversion due to rapid viscosity reduction and low fouling frequency of process equipment such as evaporator. Improved starch purity due to greater extraction yield from raw materials and efficient removal of fibers and protein. This syrup production. In this, first discuss about the maltose syrup. Maltose syrup are produced by sacrificing, sacrificing liquefied starch with maltogenic exoenzyme enzymes, fungal alpha amylase or barley beta amylase, also known as malt extract. 
The properties of maltose syrup are they have a low glucose content and high maltose content. Because of the low glucose content, high maltose syrup show a low tendency to crystallize. The fungal alpha amylase, exomylase, which hydrolyzes the alpha 1 4 linkages in liquefied starch, a prolonged reaction results in the formation of large amount of maltose. The function of the beta amylose, which attack amylose chain, resulting in the maltose production. The beta amylase is used for the production of maltose syrup. The next is the glucose syrup. Here it is the gluco glucoamylase, which hydrolyzes alpha, alpha 1 4 linkage as well as alpha 1 6 linkage in liquefied starch. The breakdown product formed in glucose, which has been split off from non reducing end of the substrate molecule. Eventually, almost complete conversion of a starch into glucose can be obtained. The coffee and the tea industry. The coffee industry. The skin fibrous pulp are removed and the enzymes are mixed with the pulp beans. The enzymes are used in liquefaction of mucilage of coffee cherry. In this process, microbial enzymes such as cellulose, hemicellulase, pectinase are used. In tea industries, the enzymes cellulase, gluconase, pectinase are used to break down the cell wall of the leaf. The enzymes provide excellent fermentation during processing. They help to remove polymer from liquor and enhance the appearance of made tea. Enzymes have applications in other industries also. Talking about the first industry as biofuel industries. Here, the cellulase enzyme used to break down cellulose into sugars that can be fermented. Next industry is the paper industry. The enzymes used in this are amylases, xylenases, cellulases, and lignases. In this industry, the degrade starch to uh, enzymes used to degrade starch to lower viscosity, aiding sizing and coating paper. Xylenase reduces bleach required for the decolorization. Cellulase helps in smooth fiber, enhance water drainage, and promote ink removal. Lipase reduces pitch and lignin degrading enzymes removes lignin to soften paper. The next industry is the biological detergent. Proteases found its application that used for the pre soap conditions and direct liquid application helping with removal of protein strain from clothes. They are also used in contact lens cleaner to remove protein or contact lens to prevent infection. The rubber talking about the rubber industry. Catalases are used to generate oxygen from peroxide to convert lattice into foam rubber. The photographic industry. Proteus Proteus dissolves the lacking of scarf film, allowing recovery of its silver content. Molecular biology. In molecular biology, the restriction enzymes, DNA ligase, and polymerases are used to manipulate DNA in genetic engineering. Thank you for being with us. And for further information or further requirement, please log in to our website and subscribe our channel.